Nick Nolte, um, um, well, I don't know. I'll ask Nick Nolte. What do you think of yourself as being actor, performer, uh, stage, movie star, television star? What do I think of myself? Well, you know, I really try not to think about it too much, but... Uh, uh, that's a good point. I, I, that, yeah. That's not a flip remark. Some people may think you're flipping saying no. that. It's very true. No. If you do worry about it too much, it's a problem. Yeah. I, I, it's basically kind of a, a feeling, you know, and I, I, uh, I feel pretty good in relationship to what I'm doing right now. I mean, that's, I can't think of, I cannot think of anything else I want to do. If I did, if I had a feeling of something else I want to do, I'd leave. Did you always want to be a, an actor? No, I, I had no idea I'd end up the, into this profession. Really? No, I was, uh, as a child, uh, you know, I was uh, involved in athletics. That was what I was involved in. And, uh, and it never occurred to me, you know. So how did it happen? Yeah, it was, uh, by accident. Uh, I was playing football at Pasadena City College in California. And uh, I was coming to the end of my football days, you know. And I met an actor named Chris Connolly that was at the Pasadena Playhouse who played uh, on Peyton Place. And uh, we used to pal around together and drink beer and stuff. And he took me one day over to his acting coach, Brian O'Byrne. And I sat in and watched them work. And uh, I got fascinated. And I studied with Brian maybe six months. And then I went out to the hinterland, so to speak, mm. what they call in Hollywood. What year was that, Nick? Early 60s, yeah. 62. Uh, right around that. So did you have a lot of lean years that a lot of actors do? Well, you know, I hear a lot of this lean years <laughs> thing, you know, <laughs> and it's quite relative, you know. Uh, when I was, I did nothing but acting. I, I never worked as a waiter any place or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I'd make, a, I think equity minimum was 125 bucks. Mm -hmm. well, that's not bad for living in a car. <laughs> that's know, right. It's kind of a kick, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I think probably a lot of people would, would be irritated by that, who have always wanted to be an actor all their lives, watching right now maybe, who still can't get a job as an actor or actress. Well, it's know, the, yeah, here it just fell in, you fell into it. Well, I fell into it as, as the motivation to do it. Yeah. You know, I did not know inside myself that uh, acting was a specific talent that I had, and I, I discovered that. But uh, as far as relating to it as a business and becoming uh, in the position that I am now, I didn't specifically pursue that. My first fascination was with, the, uh, with uh, acting, you know, and that's, uh, I didn't stay in Los Angeles. I mean, Los Angeles is primarily a business town. It's a money town. Yeah. So is New York. Yeah. So actors that go into that situation uh, are going into uh, to a very difficult place to pursue their craft so that's why I went to Phoenix and worked at a repertory company and uh, community theater and, and Denver and Minneapolis Chicago you know where uh, within Chicago 400 mile radius of Chicago are 50 equity companies that mm -hmm. blossoms up to 400 during the summer it's tremendous theater and uh, between the ages of 22 to about 32 it's devoid of actors because they're all in New York or Los Angeles uh, going to classes, trying to pursue the industry. So I work theater, show after show. Do you think acting's hard? Uh, yeah, it's a very tough skill. It's a very tough craft. It's, uh, it's uh, a very involving, disciplinary thing. Uh, it's frustrating. It's, uh, it has all those elements, and it's a... Uh, Gas. I was interested because Mac Davis, who's with you in this movie, North Dallas 40, had never really acted before, and he mm -hmm. comes across very good. So yeah. I asked him, I said, well, maybe acting's not as hard as it's made out to be. Well, it's, it's upon the individual performer of how hard he wants to make it, how involved he wants to become in the process. Uh, if we're talking about just being natural on film, or if we're talking about creating a character, I mean, film technique is something that uh, there is no formula to. You can't teach it, you know. Mm -hmm. You can teach comfort, you can teach real relaxation, concentration, imagination, uh, emotional memory. You can go through all of that. But the actual creation uh, is, uh, 
is spontaneous. So uh, every role that I go into is, uh, is uh, I, you throw away the book, you start fresh. But that's the fascinating process. Do, do you have any, any uh, style to your acting, a method acting or anything? Well, I've studied, you know, I studied with Brian, who started me off with certain basic fundamentals, but uh, I, I, uh, uh, no, see, I, you know, it's my own little secret, you know. That's, You're essentially playing Nick Nolte, then. Well, no, I'm essentially pr pursuing my own art, artistic uh, But that's instincts. artistic, Nick. Uh, you seem to shy away. It's artistic to be able to see oneself and to bring out what each person is. Well, yes, my basic, my basic equipment is Nick Nolte. Yeah. But, but you see, I even refuse to define Nick Nolte as an artist. Because if I define Nick Nolte to a, an extreme degree, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I need to know myself to the degree that I can survive and function in the world, you know, not run across the street and get run over by cars. So I need to know that knowledge. But as an artist, I don't want to define myself for my sense of security uh, on an ego level because then it limits me to in a growth. Right. So consequently, uh, I enjoy the surprises that I find of myself, you know, and, and sometimes in creating a role, you have to limit eliminate per parts of your personality. Sometimes you have to fabricate parts that aren't really there, you know. Well, then you have an exciting life ahead of you, <clears throat> constantly changing, and, and every morning you wake up and wonder who, 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 wh which Nick Nolte this is this morning, I guess. Uh, I think that's very good. There is a, there, there is a sure. reality to that. I think most people in your business get go the other way. They, they get typecast, they get locked into fear of failure, they get locked into need for success, and they're dead. That's the pitfalls. That's the pitfalls to an artist. It's the same, it's the pitfalls to a painter that locks into a style of painting. And a football player. And a football player. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we've uh, had a mini definition of Nick Nolte. Thanks very much. You're welcome. <laughs> we'll be right back.